Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Am I oh, spot on time? Look at that. Ish. Okay. Good afternoon. How is everybody? Thought I would pop in and do another little live Facebook for you. Another little live mini class. Just a little something something. Just to just to keep your afternoon interesting. And I'm gonna do today, this afternoon, I thought I would do a quick festive art journal page. Let's line this up a little bit better over here. Hello, Karen and Joanne. Hello, girls. All right, so as part of the Black Friday slash International Craft Show weekend, we have got lots and lots of specials happening on nationallymay.com.au, and that includes stencils, paper, and Lindy's products for today only at 15%, Christmas, Vicky Booten, and a selected range of Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers are 15%. Uh, some exclusions apply with Christmas. There's no kits in that discount. And the current latest Vicky Bougian collection is not discounted either. Uh, we have some fabulous mystery bundles for scrap effects and a clearance, sec clearance section that will blow your mind. Okie dokie. Just a little note again about our no judgment postage special. Postage is not $2.00. Postage is $11.95. If you are placing a second, third, fourth, twelfth order, your postage you can then choose $2 as no judgment and we will pick and pack your order. But standard flat rate postage is $11.95 for all orders. If you are local and choosing to pick up, we would also really appreciate if you could select no judgment. That would help us in our picking and packing and collating. All right, guys, let's get into it. I did this one earlier today using Lindy's. So what I thought I might do is I have some visible image stamps here that I thought I might use to do something a little bit more festive this time. I'm going to do something a little bit more arty and have a bit of a play with some colour. Uh, Christmas and like Christmas products are 15% off at the moment. So this is just a small collection of the visible image stamps that are available discounted. Uh, just here off camera, I have got a select amount of paints that I'm going to be delving into. I've decided to not overdo it with paint, just give you a bit of a range here. Uh, I'm using a combination of Art by Marlene, Paper Artsy, Dilutions, and Dina Wakely. Limiting myself to the amount of colours here in front of me is, I'm hoping, going to help me out here. Uh, this is one of our Natalie May scrapbooking paint stands that we have custom made. They fit these paints perfectly. And with the Art by Marlene paints, so just to show you how these work, Um, they've actually got holes that go all the way through, as you can see there, right? But what I have done is just taped a bit of cardboard so that the paints don't fall all the way through, which will happen if, as you can see, they'll just fall straight through. But I have just made a little amendment here so that I can just have a, a few select paints here in front of me. Oops. Oh, that almost ended badly. Right. Okay, let's do it. So I'm using the other side of my journal page here. This page has had a coating of gesso on it. Uh, gesso, of course, is a sealer and an undercoat. So... I'm wanting to put down some paint and I'm thinking, 
Oh, maybe it helps if you have a new one that you haven't opened yet. Take the seal off it. Oh, you know, it's a little issues. And I'm going to get a little bit painty today and a little bit hands on. Um, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of fancy Adelaide water and going with a more fluid sort of approach to my to my page. So as you can see here, I'm wanting to I'm going a little bit more organic. Now, while this is on our background and it's wet, I'm going to use one of the stencils designed by one of our brand ambassadors, Naomi. I'm just going to do a little bit of a rub back. So using a baby white on baby wipe on a gessoed background just to take a little bit of that paint off, just like so. So I love that a, uh, a background with gesso on it will allow this to happen. Is that you yawning, Kasia? No, that was Louise. No. <laughs> so I'm just going to smash in there with some colour, lightly dry it like that, and now I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I'm thinking of doing this. I'm thinking I'm going to wing it here. I've got some green. And I've got some blue. So this is evergreen. That colour that I just used there is mermaid. And I'm going to take a wet or a damp paintbrush, not a stopping wet paintbrush. And I'm just going to I'm going to get a little bit arty farty here. And I'm just going to do a little smudge. Haven't lost my stenciling completely in the background. My green took over a little bit much, much more than I thought. But I'm going to build up some layers here, okay? So I'm doing a bit of a festive sort of page, which is going to involve a few different layers, a, little, a few different shades of green. So this is kind of like a, almost like a wreath, I'm going to say, okay? that's going to have some layers of stamping. I'm building my background at the moment. So art journaling is all about your personal expression. It does not have to be fancy. It can be an opportunity to pop something down on a page and build from there. Um, I'm going to go in now with some of this blue again. I'm going to go in here and I'm going with that Good old fashioned finger painting technique. The blue's giving it a nice little touch of colour. A little bit of a pop. And it's just acrylic paint. It's going to wash off my hands. So a bit of paint on here, a bit of water with a dirty brush. <laughs> Come here, Lou. Lou. Lou's got the yawns. She just doesn't get into craft like we do, I know. That's okay. Embracing my finger paint. Right. Hello, ladies. A little bit more rub back with the stencil. Not a whole lot, just a little here and there. It's a bit leafy too. So this is one of Naomi's 
designs. There we go. And I'm going to pop some more here. I'm going to dry that off with the heat tool sitting on my lap. And then I'm going to add some gold. Keeping it really, really, really basic. Now, this is actually sitting a little bit greener than I'm used to, which is perfectly fine because it is about building up this background. So I'm going to add some layers of white and possibly gold as well. So I might go in with a little bit of white first. So I'm using Paper Artsy Paint here. So this is an opaque called Fresco. And I'm going to put it on here first rather than going straight into my... <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Oh, sorry. I was even lying on the floor for a bit. Were you having a bit of a lay down, Louise? Were you doing a Jessica? I was actually. All right. Bit of finger paint. Having a big back stretch or a nap? One of the two. But that's okay. We've got the Fridays going on in here. Filling my gaps here. Don't always need the fancy brushes. Sometimes the best fancy brushes are attached to your arms. I've decided as well that I'm going to do another live Facebook at 3 p.m. and we're going to be doing some cards, some simple cards using Magicals this afternoon. Oh, there we go. Now we're coming together. So I like using my fingers because what's happening is when you rub it back, it... <laughs> Hello, Nikki. How are you, darling? Sorry, just reading the comments. Um, I... Now I forgot what I was going to say. So using your fingers, getting in here with your fingers, being able to rub it back pushes the paint to the edge of the stencil and then you get these really lovely ridges. Love that. And um, girls, if you love a Paper Artsy stamp, the lovely Nikki, who is a designer for Paper Artsy, has chimed in and commented on our post here. So welcome, welcome. You've put me under pressure now. I feel like I'm in the, in the midst of a celebrity here. Feeling pretty fantastic. All right, building, building, building a background. Building our ugly background, as I like to call it. This isn't our finished layout this is our our background uh okay right what is next gotta dry that and gonna pop some gold on after that we have i've also taken some stamps and pre-stamped prior to jumping on and fussy cut because i'm going to do some coloring and uh some images to build this background up it's actually coming along quite nicely here adding that white over the top really toned it back and made it a whole ton less scary. All right, Paper Artsy Gold. I've given this a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And this has got to be my all time favorite gold simply because it's a lovely light gold. And that is what is important. I don't want an old antique gold. I'm after a really, really light gold. So I'm going to use the same stencil. I have got a dry paintbrush. This is a number 18 from Art by Marlene. Uh, you can jump, you can get this on your website, on my website. So I'm going to pull this back on my mat so that it's not super strong. And then I'm going to pop a little over the top of my stencil. So what's happening is that it's putting on a really thin amount of gold that is not showing up on camera but in a minute I will bring it up and you'll be able to see that shimmer. It's got a gorgeous overlay to it now. Overlapping over that wreath sort of image that we've done down to here where we've got the bottom of the wreath and I'm just going to get my finger in here. Stencil hits, nearly hits the floor. <laughs> And then a little bit of dry brushing. So dry brushing is just using whatever is left on here, which apparently isn't very much. That's another squirt. So you can find Paper Artsy paints under the Paper 
Paper Artsy heading on our website, also on uh, under the paint heading as well. Now that's way too much paint there. How do you solve that problem? Rub it back, create a little bit of something, a little bit of interest. I'm going to even it up. I've done the same thing. I'll do the same thing up here. Pop my stencil on and rub it back. A gessoed background has allowed me to do that. Right, and a bit more over here. Let's rinse and repeat. All right, I'm gonna bring this up to camera so you can see how splendid that shimmer is. All right, hold on to your hats. All right, let's see if I can hold this the right way. I'm gonna take that off. All right, can you see that shimmer? over the top. So now you can start to see all of that detail that we're building up. Good, good, good. So while that's drying, I'm going to take my pre-stamped images that my lovely staff member Fussy Cut for me, because I hate Fussy Cut. So I have used this stamp. This is called Christmas Robin. So Christmas Robin is going to give me some chubby little birds. And I cut its feet off because, again, hate fussy cutting. Uh, I stamped some leaves. Now this is just stamped on super non-fancy cardstock. Very non-fancy. Uh, and dun, 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 dun. It takes me longer to flip these babies over than it is going to be to paint them. Right. Now, because Lindy's Gang products are currently 15% off today, what I have done is here in my little paint palette, I have pre-mixed and... I did this in my last video. I showed you how to mix them all up, right? So you're total pros at it. But for those of you tuning in for the first time, Lindy's Magicals, which are these little guys here, are pigment dye-based powders. And as a master educator for Lindy's, it's my job to show you that you can use them on absolutely everything, right? So, pigment dye based powder, I've taken a little bit of the powder and mixed it up and tipped it into here into my palette with some water. So I have got a really nice green here that I'm just going to loosely paint some leaves. Now, the green that I've used is called, I don't know, I think it was called Ponderosa Pines, boy, green. And it has a shimmer to it. So that being said, all of these magicals in here are all going to dry with a lovely little shimmer. Now, I'm not going right to the edge because I want a bit of white showing. Because white gives dimension, white gives pop, white gives depth. And I've got white in my background here. Uh, so I want to make sure that I don't colour right to the edges. Something else that is really beneficial here, and I didn't realize that I did this until right now, the shimmer on this green has a gold in it. The gold's gonna tie in because we use gold in our background of our page with acrylic paint, of course, with that lovely paper artsy paint. So I'm just coloring my holly. So I've stamped these in black archival ink. So of course archival ink. Oh, that's very nicely cut that one. Kasha must have done that one. Uh, black archival ink is not going to run when I add water to it, which is what we're doing now. So we're adding this pigment dye-based powder mixed with water and the ink's not going to run. So I don't want to stamp with memento or distress ink because they are both water-based which means the ink is just going to run and we don't want that to happen. So this red is going to do my berries. My, this is just a little bit of 
a pop of colour for my page. A little red, and this is uh, one of the reds from, I do believe, the one of, oh, I can't even remember which set it's from actually. It might have been the uh, Christmas set of Lindy's or... I don't even know. I can't remember. How good's that, hey? All right. Let's talk birds. Now, I'm going to paint my birds brown and gold, okay? My, my birds need to be brown and gold, I've decided. So this colour here is not really a colour. It's called Gleaming Gold. And Gleaming Gold is exactly that. It is just a gold shimmer. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. It's very, very awesome. Uh, and then this one here, I think, is just a brown. So let's have a look. I'm just going to get in here with a really light amount of brown. Now, it's light because I've just dipped my brush in some water. The shimmer is sitting on top of the cardstock. Oh, that's so pretty. Adding a little shimmer down the bottom. It's a little two-tone-ish. She's got quite the shimmer to it now. Let me bring that up to camera. Can you see how pretty that is? Is it showing up? Of course it's not. I'm trying to get the shimmer on camera. All right, let's just color it. I'm just gonna commit, guys. But it's putting a really, really light brown tone to our bird, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it super, I didn't want to make it a red robin or anything like that, which is probably festive and probably the way I should have gone. But I've just gone with this brown with the gold shimmer. So the feathers are all going to have a bit of a, a gold shimmer to it and the stamped image, and I'm just going to let that sit and dry. Okay, quick, easy, did not take very long at all. I want to add some stamping to my background now. So I'm going to slide that baby over there. Uh, what have I got? All right, I've got this little guy here. So this is the Christmas backgrounds from Visible Image, a stamp that is currently 15% off, which is a win for you. And I want to add some really simple Christmas words to my background. And then I'm going to find my little round circle paper artsy stamp. In a minute and add some circles all right so I'm going to use this stamp organically meaning I'm just going to do a little bit of this I don't want it super strong I want it to have this shadowy sort of effect of Christmas words so you can't really read what it says, but you kind of know. I don't want straight edges, which is why I've got it stuck to the back of my fingers. You see how that's kind of giving me this really loose feel? Yes. Yes, you do. All right. Oh, that's nice. I'm not pushing for straight lines. I'm pushing for partial words. Yeah. Off stamping is my friend. Love that. Yeah, that's actually, that's worked out so much better than it did in my head. Okay. Christmas backgrounds, tick, festive words, 
Love that. Uh, just let me slide over. Conveniently, here is my Tracy Scott stamp. Uh, and again, I'm going to use this organically for a few little spots around the place. Like this one. Like this one. So I'm creating a shape. And knowing when to stop is important. Shouldn't have done that last one. But that's okay. What am I going to put on there next? I'm going to add some splatters of gold. You see this gold on camera? Yep, beautiful. Bam, 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 bam. So this is a smoker's tap, as I fondly call it. I used to be a splendid smoker back in the day. And it is a finger tap. You see that movement I'm doing? It's this movement. It's not a wrist flick. We are doing this up and down movement. And it is creating that really nice splatter which has not shown up on camera but it will in a minute once I dry it off. All right so while I'm drying paint, while we're watching paint dry here, um, what can I talk about? So what's going on in your life guys? Tell me everything. Tell me all the things. This is looking very, very festive and very unlike something I would normally do, which is kind of cool. I want that gold sitting on top of the paint and that's that gold splatter that I just put on must sit on top of the paint. So that's just a Lindy's little color called Gleaming Gold. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to do some more stamping. So I think my birds are going to sit here. Here is where my biggest cluster of stamping is going to go. So, how about I take these guys here. Oh, you're working on your next paper artsy release, Nikki. <gasps> yes, love that for you. Ooh, and your next art book. Ooh, art book. I think I need to know more about that. Where's my stamping book? All right, I've got this holly leaf that is part of the Visible Image Christmas Robin and I'm going to stamp in green on my background. I'm just going to go right in, but not on my berries. I just want the leaves. I'm going to start building a little background for where my cluster is going to go. Just commit, Natalie, commit. You know what? I am going to do the whole lot. So this is a black archival ink. Sorry, a green archival ink is not black. We can all see that it's not black. Um, it is a, and I'm wanting to use an archival because it's going over the top and I haven't decided if I'm going to add more things to it. So if I add more things to it, I don't want my ink to run. So that's the importance of using an ink like that. So the green stamping is in the background. I should really claim that, but you know, I'm not going to. Here's this little gorgeous little single leaf. Da -da. He's going to show up there. What part of the world are you in, Nikki? Because I have a funny feeling you are a long way away from sunny Australia. Sun's out here at the moment and it's quite a nice day. It's just a little chilly, let's be honest. Okay, some green stamping around the page. May not be showing up as well as I would like it to, but I will, I'll bring it all up to camera in a minute. You know I love to do that. 
Um, earlier today, I used the Art by Marlene Essential Exclusive Textures Stamp. I'm going to use this again because it's got some nice little elements on it. Ah, you're on the west coast of Canada, as we love to call it. So I've had the super awesome Vicky Booten here hanging out with me last weekend, on the weekend just gone. And on Monday, my sweet friend and I came over here and taught for us, which was very, very cool. Hosted her here with a workshop for 140-something women. Um, we love... We, we have a soft spot for Canadians, don't we, girls? A few little stars around the place. Just adding these little elements. And you can see that I'm adding them where my clusters are going. I'm not just going to put them here and I'm not putting them here and I'm not whacking them down here. I'm keeping it all together. Okay, and that's really important for consistency. Your eye tends to go to lots and lots of different places on the page and you, you don't want to fight, your eye doesn't want to fight too much to what it's looking at, right? So I think that keeping it super simple, that would make a nice tattoo. Um, anyway, sidetrack, shiny things. Um, yeah, your eye doesn't want to fight too much on the page. You want to try and keep it nice and easy. So I'm going to stop it here because I could continue to add things, but I'm thinking it'll get messy. So let's have a little play now with some of these elements that I coloured in a moment ago. And let's see how they have dried up. Now, as they have dried, can you... Let's bring that right up to screen. It's got a little shimmer. Of course, it's not showing up. My bird will, though, because that's got so much shimmer. Come on, focus. There we go. All right. Focal point image. Bam. My little bird. Haven't decided if I want to use my other bird yet. Oh, yeah, I will. Um, bird needs to be sitting on something. Can't have a bird floating when it has its legs grounded, no wings up. Yeah, Nikki, I'm thinking that you do need to do a little trip to Australia. Let's just commit to the glue. Just going right in. I'm just going in with it. Um, we would love to see you here in Australia. You know that uh, your fan base here is huge. And we love Paper Artsy products. Do we not, girls? Do we love Paper Artsy? Yes, we do. Thank you, Kasha, from the other room. Now I can't work out where to put my berries. First world problem. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick my bird down. I'm going to commit to it. Because the more I fluff around, we are 35 minutes in. All right? 35 minutes in. I'm going to foam tape my bird. Hey, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I'm going to foam tape my bird up on the dots because I think that they can sit a little higher. So the bird needs to be sitting on something, yeah? So the, these guys are going to go in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Commit, commit, commit. And to be perfectly honest, this is how I love to create more than anything else. If I think about this too much, it turns into a hot mess and something that I am not happy with. So for me, it's just about creating. Art journaling is about creating something that makes me, makes me happy. It's that simple. I don't want to overthink the hell out of everything. There's no point. I think that if I just get it on the page and go with my first instinct, trust your gut, they say, it makes me happy. What are you smirking at from the other room, Kasha? Hey? You've got a big gut to trust. You're an idiot. <laughs> but you're still fun size. 
small but mighty, my party size staff member. All right, so now we're getting there. I'm creating. I have two birds. I feel the need for a third. Do I go high? Do I go low? I go low. High looks wrong. Low looks better. Yeah, see, Naomi's the same. Creating on the fly works. You know, you, you, you learn to trust what works for you. It's that simple. In my opinion, the more I overthink it, the worse it gets. So, ladies, if you are new to Natalie May Scrapbooking, um, we offer a, a range of online classes available as well. So, we have a, an, an online class you can do anytime at your own speed as well. So, they are in a private Facebook group. You have lifetime access to the classes. You can create at your own speed in the comfort of your own home. The classes, oops, the classes are there. I do a sneak peek of what the class looks like. There is a list of requirements and things that will assist you in creating the project that I have created. Most of the time, there will be a small kit that we post out to you, and that is quite often included in the cost of the class. Uh, the lovely Naomi, who is commenting at the moment, Naomi is one of our teachers. Naomi will be doing classes again with us in 2024, and Naomi will be doing something a little bit different to the art journaling classes that she did last year. Um, now, that reminds me, Naomi, I do need to read your email again. So I apologise, I have not done that. It has, it's been a big week. All right, knowing when to stop, I can't work out where to put those, so I'm not going to put them anywhere. It tells a story, doesn't it? So we do have classes by my, uh, that I do in an art journal this size here. Uh, there are classes that the super talented Claire from Art Journal Love, who is a designer for Funky Fossil, Claire will be teaching with us again next year. And I'm in the process of organising her classes and the super talented Naomi. And of course, if you are based in Adelaide in South Australia, you are welcome to come to our little studio here and do classes with us in person. We encourage you to do that. Art journal classes and of course, card classes. So something to suit everybody uh, for adults. We don't teach kids' classes. Uh, so, yes, there you go. So, I'm just doing a little bit of a border. We've got black in our stamping, black in our image, in our focal point image. So, I feel the need to put a black border around everything, but you know that I do that anyway. And then I'm going to stop, pen down, <coughs> leaves away, and I'm going to bring it up to camera and show you, all right? So... Creating this art journal page, I used my fingers today more than I used a paint. Sorry, my phone rang. Um, yes, more than I used a paintbrush, I used my fingers today. Uh, so just to recap, we used a, a large Dilutions art journal. We have used a small plethora of paints. Some of them I didn't even use. Uh, I didn't use the yellow I didn't use these reds, but I've created a, a festive sort of art journal page here. Um, the background, I used a stencil, upside down stencil. So this is available on nataliemay.com.au uh, under Natalie May Stencils. The Natalie May Stencils are not part of our special today. They are something that we very rarely put on special, but they're available there. You just add it to your cart, you know you want it. Uh, we have pre-stamped some images here. This is the very, very cute Christmas Christmas Robin from Visible Image. Uh, so I stamped that in black archival ink. And then we coloured that in with Lindy's Magicals in a couple of different colours here. So really, really easy to get a really simple effect. Um, and I use the Magicals that have got a shimmer. The stamping that you can see here, I used the Christmas background stamps as well as paper, Tracy's Paper Artsy Mini little stamp here and used a combination of black archival ink 
and also peeled paint distress ink so there's some there as well my paint stand of course you can find that online um okay let's bring this up to camera let's have it actually let's take the camera down to it just look away if you get seasick i'm going to take the camera out of the holder Ooh, here we go um all right here's some of this detail so now you can see that shimmer yeah look at it go she's so pretty and the edges sit up nicely and you see these little splatters that it where are they here did i let those dry on there and hit them with the heat gun oh oh look at that can you see that kasha are you watching oh you're not watching my live you get to listen to me instead um <laughs> She's visualizing. All right, so you can see how good those little details look. So you can get 15% off Lindy's for today and Christmas this weekend. Anything Christmas based, you can get 15% off as well as passion paper. Look at the shiny. Are you ready? She's so pretty. And look at that stencil in the background, the gold. I know. Look at me go. Um, Kasha Fussy cut these out for me because I don't have the patience to do that. Um, so there you go. Sweet. All right, guys. Um, no judgment postage. Postage is not free. Postage is not $2. But if you you pay $11.95 for your first order, each order after that, select no judgment at the checkout and we will bundle it all together. Uh, so make sure that you take a moment to select $11.95. Our website automatically will not do that for you. We have got Friday specials, stencils, paper, Lindy's Gang, Christmas, Vicky Booten, collage paper and scrap effects. Have a wonderful day, guys. I will be back here at 3 o'clock to make some cards. See you soon.